Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn about Euro currency markets under international monetary system under the subject international finance. In this video, we are going to learn about what is Euro currency market, what are its characteristics, what are the components of Euro currency markets and what are the functions of Euro currency markets. So let us start with this topic, Euro currency market. Now, the Euro currency market is the legal market for currency outside of the country where it is a legal tender. The Euro currency market is utilized by banks, multinational corporation, mutual funds and hedge funds. The term euro currency is a generalization of euro dollar and it should not be confused with the EU currency, the euro. So it is completely different term from euro and euro dollar. The euro currency market functions in many financial centers around the world, not just euro. So euro currency basically not a currency of the European nation but it is or it can be operated all around the world so euro currency market can offer better rates for both the borrowers and lenders but they also have higher risk now let us understand the euro currency market the euro currency market originated in the aftermath of World War II when the Marshall Plan to rebuild Euro sent a flood of dollars overseas. The market developed first in London as bank needed a market for dollars deposit outside the United States. Dollars held outside the United States are called Euro dollars. Even if they are held in market outside Euro such as Singapore or the Cayman Island. There is not necessary any connection between Euro currency market and Europe today, although these both markets begin in Euro. The Euro currency market has expanded to include other currencies such as Japanese yen and the British pound whenever they trade outside of their home market. However, the euro dollar market remains the largest. Now, the interest rate paid on these deposits in the euro currency market are typically higher than those in the domestic market. So in a glimpse, euro currency is basically, you know, a market which is not operated in the home country, but it can be operated in, in other countries. Okay. Euro currency and Euro or Euro are not same. Euro currency is another name given to Euro dollars. Okay. And Euro currency market does not only include Euro or dollars, but it also includes Japanese yen, British pound. And the rate of interest paid on the deposit of Euro currency is quite higher than those in the domestic market. Okay, now we'll go through the characteristics of Euro currency markets. Number one, unregulated market. Euro currency market is a market across border. Hence, the government does not have full control over the transactions. Hence, transacting entities escape from most of the stringent provisions and regulations. Under Euro currency, government interference is minimal. Thus, it is an unregulated market. Second characteristic is that it is a long term loan and short term deposit. Euro currency loans are for longer period of time. However, the deposits in Euro currency markets are primarily for short term. This leads to asset liability duration mismatch problem for the bank. So in Euro currency, the, long, uh, the loans are basically for a longer period of time. 
but the deposits are for a shorter period of time. So this can create a mismatch problem for the bank. The third feature is massive wholesale market. Transactions in euro currency markets are huge. They are mostly within governments and banks, public sector organization and large MNCs. This makes the market a wholesale rather than a retail market. The next characteristic is time deposit. Euro currency market exists for savings and fixed deposit and recurring deposit in banks. There is hardly any space in euro market for demand deposit. So there's basically saving fixed deposit and only recurring deposits in bank. And last euro dollar and labor base market. The euro currency interest rates are based on a variable rate base such as the labor that is London interbank offer rate. Under this interest rate risk is reduced. This market is largely denominated, sorry, this market is largely dominated by the US dollar over other currencies. Okay, the next thing that we need to go through is the components of euro currency markets. Now, the composition of euro currency markets or the components of euro currency market is broken apart in three areas which is number one market participants second euro financial instruments and third the transactional structure now Number one, as we said, was the first component of euro currency market is market participants. So who all are the participants of euro currency market? Number one, the commercial banks. The institutional core of the market is formed by the commercial banks. Banks enter the euro currency market both as lenders and as depositors. Around 20% of the world around 20 of the world's largest bank play a vital role in the euro market the second participant in euro currency market are the corporates euro currencies are mainly borrowed by corporations whose name size and good standing enables banks to make loan to them with little more than a superficial analysis of credit worthiness. The third market participants are the governments and the central bank. The central banks and the governments are also the lenders in the euro currency markets. In addition, international institutions such as the World Bank and other regional development banks and institutions associated with the EU have been borrowers on regular basis. In the last decade, the market has also seen an enlargement in government and government related borrowers. And the last participant are the private individual. Minor participants in the euro dollar market are known as private individual. High net worth individuals are no doubtedly been significant participant as investors in the euro bond market where the fact that payment of interest is without deduction of tax and securities are bearer securities which gives the market autonomy and and most probable attractiveness from a tax point of view. So these are the four participants of euro currency market the commercial banks the corporates, the government and central banks and lastly the private individuals. Next that we need to go through is the euro financial instruments. Now what are the instruments in euro currency market? So the number one is euro deposits. Most deposits in euro currency markets are fixed deposit at most deposit in the euro currency markets are fixed deposit at fixed interest rate whose maturity is of a short period. Around three quarters of deposits in London euro banks have maturity of less than three months. So it is a very short term period 
Many of these deposits are on call, that is, thus they can be withdrawn without notice. These types of time deposits are mostly made by other banks, but many are made by governments and other and their central banks as well as multinational corporations. The second instruments which you need to go through is the euro loan. Many euro dollar loans are direct on the basis of formal lines of credit. However, the techniques of loan syndication has been developed for larger currency by the market. Okay, the next financial instrument that we need to go through is the euro bonds. The euro bonds are international bonds denominated in a currency which is different from that of the country in which they were issued. Euro bonds are securities which are easily transferable and the euro bond market is a vital factor in the international finance as the size of euro bond market in the international market exceeds that of the US bond market. So this is euro bond play a very important role in euro currency market. And lastly, other instruments which come under euro currency markets are the other euro financial instrument consists of euro certificates of deposits, euro commercial papers, etc. The third component of euro currency market comes the transactional structure of euro market. Now, the euro currency market is completely a wholesale market. This we have already, you know, read before. Transactions made are very rarely to be for less than $1 million, while at time they are for $100 million and more. So it is a wholesale and a huge amount is negotiated in euro market. Like the foreign exchange market, the vast bulk is operated to interbank operations. The market is liked by telephone or telecommunication and is focused upon London which has a share of around one third of the euro currency market. All the euro currency transactions are unsecured credits in nature. Hence, the lender pays a lot of attention to the borrower's status and name. So it is not given to anyone. The person who has financially you know, strong, has very good goodwill, only to those the money, you know, the money is usually lent. So these were the components or the, these were the three components of Euro currency market. Okay, next come, what are the functions of Euro currency markets? So number one, Euro currency market is a cheap source of working capital. Why? Lesser interest rate is attracted by Euro currency loans than the loans of the domestic economy. This is due to low overhead costs. So since the interest rates are less, since the operating or the, since the overhead cost is less, it becomes a cheap source of working capital. So you can easily get the loan and it will be also at a very low rate of interest. Second function is liquidity. Financial institution find it highly profitable to hold their idle resources in Euro market. Moreover, due to fewer restrictions in the market, investor can make investment in better security. So there is no security required, you can directly invest in it. With the, abs with the absence of tax withholding on interest, there is an advantage in this form. And on an average, 80% of these deposits have maturity of 6 months. So it is a very short term loan, short term investment period. So people usually like to invest in these markets. Third, we have facilitates international trade. The euro currency market makes easy availability of loans, which helps in smoother working of international trade. Now, this is mainly for two reasons. Number one, lower interest rate and second, easy procedural formalities. 